Let's take a look at Microsoft Word 2016. So we're running this on a virtual machine. And let's go ahead and scroll down Windows 10 virtual machine. Let's go to Office 2016 preview. And I also have a video on how to install uh, Office if you uh, want to take a look at that if you're having trouble with that. Let's go ahead and click on Word 2016 preview. And it's already got me logged in, but uh, you'll be prompted to log in the first time that it'll save that information. So as you can see, we're sort of uh, dumped into the uh, template area, and you can go ahead and just click on a blank document if you'd like. And here we are. Here's the new look and feel of Office 2016 using Microsoft Word, of course, on a Windows 10 computer. It may look a little bit different on a Windows 8 or 8.1 computer but the menu items of course will all be the same <clears throat> so if you take a look at the file menu you can see a lot of this is still the same as it was before uh, you've uh, still got your ability to of course get to OneDrive if you uh, also had um, other things like uh, Dropbox you'll have to re-add those at that time uh, let's take a look at the some of the different menu items so you have home, insert, design, layout, references, mailings, review, and view. So uh, page layout has now just been renamed to layout. It's one of the big changes. You also have this option here at the top uh, to uh, switch between touch and mouse mode. So by default, you're going to be in mouse mode on a desktop computer. If you're on a touch computer, it may default to touch, but it may not. So you want to click on that. Now, even if you click on touch or mouse, it'll still work with a mouse or with touch. It just works better. It's optimized if you use the one that it's designed for. So uh, let's go ahead and click on this little arrow here. You can add some additional things such as quick print if you want to the menus at the top. And let's take a look at something else is new, and this is the tell me what to do. Uh, and it gives you a few options on how to do that. So for instance, let's go ahead and say, uh, tell me how to print. So you click on print, and it gives you some more options. It uh, sort of uh, leads you into other areas here. So let's go ahead and click on uh, print layout, for instance. And when print layout is selected, we should see an option for print layout. And then we have print preview edit mode and there's print preview edit mode so um, uh, we can also you know just go ahead and close that we can go back and you can you know type in some things if you want as well so let's uh, say uh, how to save a document and look at all those different options that come up when you do that if I hit enter um, it's going to choose save as so it's actually trying to help me save a document at that point so that's kind of a cool thing to have let's take a look at some of the other menu item uh, changes not really a lot of changes here uh, as you click through these these look pretty much the same until um, you get down to the uh, review tab so when we get to the review tab now we have uh, a real interesting little option here on the right hand side called start inking so you click on start inking and it really turns your microsoft word and other um, office programs like excel etc uh, into um, a sort of microsoft paint program so you can click the ink that you want you can change the thickness and just so it looks very similar to paint uh, you can select objects just like you can in paint uh, the eraser is really nice because instead of erasing little individual areas, it'll er erase uh, you know ex uh, the you know whole areas that you just did, which is really cool. Uh, you also have an option for the highlighter, so by default it's going to of course go to yellow, but you can change that if you want as well. So if you have some text that you want, let's just go ahead and undo that. Uh, let's go and type some text. And let's say we wanted to uh, highlight that. So let's go ahead and highlight that in green. So there's our highlighter. So kind of cool. We could you know, highlight uh, pictures or anything else that, that we want. Uh, we can, of course, change the color just like you can any other uh, type of paint program. And when you're done, you just click Stop Inking if you want, and then click on the, the menu item that you want to go back to. So uh, this is uh, over here on the right hand side. This gives the, you know, the name if you're logged in, whoever you're logged in as. Uh, then you also see ribbon display options. We can click on that. We can auto hide the ribbon, which is nice. Uh, you know, we can bring it back. Uh, we can 
there we go. Uh, show tabs and commands. Uh, you know, lots of different things we can do. We've got your help button here, and that's very similar to 2013. So anything that you need help with, you can type it here. It is a little bit redundant, of course, with the uh, tell me what you want to do box up at the top. Uh, but you might find some things in the help that you don't see in that particular area. Um, of course, you've got the close, and you can toggle between full screen as well. And then if you want, you can go ahead and uh, uh, send a smile, send a frown <laughs> to uh, Microsoft or other people <laughs> if you want to. So let's uh, go ahead and click back on uh, the file tab, and you're, go you're going to have some different options. Uh, you can protect the document, you can restrict editing, restrict access, add a digital signature, mark as final, so nobody can make changes if you want. You can inspect your document, check accessibility, compatibility, uh, compatibility with earlier versions of Word, that can be very handy. Uh, you can manage your versions, uh, you can recover unsaved documents or delete unsaved documents. Um, if we go to the options page, uh, we've got lots of different options that look very similar to 2013. Uh, you've got proofing. You can also set the language if you want. Um, so it's uh, pretty easy to, to switch that around once you add additional languages. And you can add additional editing languages just by clicking here and choosing the language that you want. It will then download that language. Clicking on advanced. Customize ribbon. So if you, the ribbon doesn't look the way you want, you can go ahead and uh, you can make changes. So uh, you see the main tabs here. Here's our main tabs that we just saw earlier. If you want, you can add the developer tab. So if you're a developer and you want to see that, you just go ahead and click OK. And now we have a developer tab, which allows all kinds of different additions uh, to your uh, look and feel of Word and functionality as well. So there's a general overview of Microsoft Word 2016 on a Windows 10 computer.